This is Sergei Shpilkin, a statistician and electoral sleuth. This is Grigory Melkinyans, co-chair of a respected NGO. And this is Ella Pamphilova, head of Russia's official election oversight body. What do these three people have in common? Well, they'll be looking for fraud in the country's March 18th presidential election, albeit from very different angles. Let's start with Sergei Shpilkin. While analyzing official Russian voting data from past elections, Shpilkin saw patterns that revealed possible vote fraud. In precincts that reported above average turnout, the extra votes tended to favor Kremlin-friendly candidates. In parliamentary elections, these extra votes went to the ruling United Russia Party. In presidential polls, to the eventual winners, Vladimir Putin in 2004 and 2012, and Dmitry Medvedev in 2008. His findings created such a stir that demonstrators protesting the 2011 parliamentary elections carried signs like this one and this one. This guy, Grigory Melkinyans, is co-chair of Golis, an independent election monitor. Over the years, Golis has irked Putin's government by documenting claims of election violations. It maintains a nationwide map of violations and has been accused by Kremlin loyalists of seeking to undermine the state. Enter stage left, Ella Pamphilova. She's a liberal former lawmaker who once served as Putin's top human rights official. After Putin appointed her to head the Central Election Commission in 2016, she pledged to stamp out voter fraud. But critics say her reputation as a rights defender is being used to give a veneer of legitimacy to a rigged electoral system. Opposition leader Alexei Navalny, who has been legally prevented from running, says Pamphilova, quote, didn't even try to make it look like his disqualification was not politically motivated. Pamphilova defends the Central Election Commission's independence and has accused Navalny of brainwashing young people. 